Good morning, guys. It's not even morning. It's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I woke up actually around 10.30. And I sat down, um, read my Bible, read some of my daily texts, uh, read some other stuff, um, did a little uh, prayer appreciation and now I am about to indulge in a nice little small cup of coffee and this is actually day four of my low carb to no carb no carb to low carb it's day four is Wednesday it's June 21st and I wanted to record exactly what I'm feeling on this day because I believe it's day four. I may go one more day. I might. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Being a college teacher, I need my brain functions. I'm able to deal with being hungry in the morning because my body seems to have uh, gotten the point of what I'm doing as far as intermittent fasting. But the carb cycling is working. Um, I actually like it. I, I, I feel like I'll see results. Um, I'm hungry now because I actually stopped eating pretty early yesterday. Uh, and I'm kind of depleted with energy so I don't have any energy so when this happens I start my day off with coffee and I have the shirts her fat burner this actually does give me energy it's stimulant free but it also helps my mood um, something else that I'm going to be taking is the, is the EHT. It's the age-defying supplement from Nerium. I like this because this really does help with my mental, um, my brain function. When you're depleted physically of food and carbohydrates, <laughs> your mind kind of goes a little crazy too. So. That is definitely why I read my Bible. That's one. And take this EHT. So I'm going to have some coffee. And I'm going to... Oh, it's acting stupid. I'm going to have some coffee. Um, I'm going to have uh, one of these. I might have two. I don't know. No, I'll have one. One um, fat burner by Shred. By... Um, in LA for her and an L carnitine and I'm gonna go ahead and have one of these and then once I feel myself starting to get a little ready I'm gonna go to the gym and decide if I'm going to do cardio or some weight training total body weight training so we'll see all right about 12 50 getting ready to head out to the gym sitting outside my gym powerhouse um i don't know how long i'll be at this one i'll probably be going back to real oak pretty soon but um let's speak on this eht by nerium i have been taking it for a number of months and i really only take it during times where i feel like mentally um fatigued or just foggy which happens when you are doing intermittent fasting and or um, the carb cycling. So because I'm doing both together, it, by the fourth day, I'm kind of like mentally foggy. 
something that I don't need as a college teacher. I need to be mentally focused, as well as the fact that, you know, my training is important. And I'm not training as much. I train at home mostly, and I do a lot of HIIT cardio at home, maybe like two to three times a day for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and then I go to the gym like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, uh, maybe a Saturday, and I either work out total body or just all upper body, all lower body, whichever one, you know, comes first. Um, I'm pretty good at knowing exactly what I want to do when I go in the gym. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do when I get in the gym. It just happens, and I'm sore. So, but just on this EHT thing, I definitely can say it works. Um... I feel more mentally alert, more focused. Um, it's supposed to help with the aid, like the aging of the brain. It, it manipulates, I don't want to say manipulate, but it's just, it's a formula that just helps with a mental alertness and clarity. And I have to say just out of using it uh, a couple of months during times where I'm like mentally foggy, I can tell the difference just almost immediately now. Um, when I first started taking it, I didn't really notice pretty much of a um, of a difference yet. Um, anything that you're going to take on a, is going to take some time for your body to adjust and for you to even notice anything as far as symptoms or results per se. But um, I do like the EHT. I'm not going to lie. It's some other things that I am planning on trying out that helps with mental alertness and focus. So, but the EHT is what I've been using and I do like it and I need to get in this gym because now I just figured out what I'm going to do when I get in here. <laughs> something funky. cardio well sprint intervals and some stretching and now I'm in the car <laughs> so number one tip I want to say about intermittent fasting and carb cycling discipline as of right now my stepkids are not home they're out visiting their mom so they're they're gone for the entire summer so for me it is a change in schedule um, I will be working pretty much all day except for after five o'clock because I teach most of my evening well my morning summer like art camps so at College of Creative Studies so I'm teaching there all day and then at night I'm pretty much taking care of business as far as YouTube is concerned so um, schedule is changing but discipline doesn't change um, I, I don't eat until I work out and if I don't work out if it's a rest day for whatever reason I make sure that I don't eat um, until either 12 or 2 o'clock and I say 12 because sometimes I do get up pretty early and that means about four hours later that's when I eat um, two is the same thing because I get up at about 10 o'clock in the morning most of the time 
and so I wait till almost two o'clock to eat and that's if it's a rest day or I'm not working out or I'm just doing morning cardio so but if I'm doing any weight training or I, everything right now as far as my training is concerned is I'm doing interval training so that's how it's going circuit training so that's how it's going but the discipline you you got to build a schedule and stick to it with the intermittent fasted part I'm gonna tell you it's rough the first week I don't even want to say the first three days it's rough the first week um, you may have headaches um, and that's because you're probably lowering your sugar intake um, you're not eating as often you know like first thing when you wake up so you, you're going to feel hungry so that's why you're going to need some discipline you're going to have to have a schedule and stick to it despite what you're your hunger pains is telling you if you're not having any hormonal issues where I don't know it's it's affecting your skin it's, it's affecting something that you don't want to have affected other than hunger <laughs> you're just gonna have to have the discipline for it so it's two it's 235 so yeah it's about time for me to eat what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home I'm gonna have my um, humor pro or I might have the um, rain form protein shake both are vegan um, based proteins but one of them I'm gonna have and then I'm gonna cook me something to eat I'm probably gonna have some carbs but because this is still considered a low carb for me like under 80 grams of carbs it's best to have it right after a workout so that you can replenish your glycogen scores your glycogen stores your muscles all the science behind it but this is what's working for me but um, just to give you guys a tip it's all about discipline no matter what your schedule is and how it's changing you are going to have to create a schedule and you're going to have to stick to it no matter what um, not only that that's going to help with your stress levels because you're less stressed when you have a plan that you're actually following and I will always say it's best to make a plan that fits you everybody's time schedule is different um, mine's changes from season to season like winter time I I have kids and I'm working and I'm doing YouTube so I'm all over the place at times but um, as for the summertime because it's just me and my husband um, I can sleep later <laughs> um, I can do whatever I really pretty much want to so I know what it feels like to be extremely busy and to really just not have much responsibility so yeah make it work for you you do not have to work out every freaking day you do not have to just like just find the time to do it and set a goal and then make it a schedule and stick to it that's all I can really yeah that's all I can really say so stick to it but other than that I'm going to end this video I guess I'm going to end it right here because I got some really good stuff to share with you guys next uh, next week. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I guess this video is quite not over yet. <laughs> I just got, I'm like carrying all of me. You see I'm trying to carry all my stuff. I just got BPI again. The last I had was the protein bars which I did like them but I'm kind of staying away from protein bars for right now and what I probably have is a pre-workout because I love BPI pre-workouts I do have another pre-workout I don't think I like this one. maybe not in the house um other pre-workout that I have I've had it since my brother left in April and this is the fire lean so this was the last pre-workout I still have a few of them left I do like this one. but 
I'm hoping this is the pre-workout from a BPI sport. Hold on, let's see. Yep, so excited. BPI sport, one MR, one more rep. Ooh, powerful pre-workout. You guys see that? So, I've tried this stuff before, or it might have been a different one, but we're going to test this out again and see, and I'm going to do a video on it. So, yeah, I'm excited. I got my free workout.